I just started reading this book by Robert Temple. And was intrigued already by this book. This book is fascinating, truly fascinating. And the subject of the, of the book is plasma and the nature of plasma in the universe. And he begins the book talking about Casimir's Kordelewski's discovery in 1961 of two gigantic, enormous plasma clouds that are hovering between the Earth and the Moon. Enormous plasma clouds, almost invisible to the eye, but discovered by this astronomer in 1961. And then rediscovered in 2019. And he talks about the idea of the plasma being an inorganic life form. And he talks about how, and goes through the process to describe how this is possible, that this plasma cloud and plasma in general is actually alive and conscious, but inorganic in form. And that plasma makes up 99.9% .9 of the universe, of our known universe, and that this is totally conscious. This plasma energy is totally conscious but inorganic. And what I find fascinating is my friend Simon last night, when I sent him in one particular part of a chapter, I sent him a part of a chapter talking about plasma beings, ball lightning being drones, potentially, and Robert Temple's um, idea that the some of the ball lightning we see on Earth is actually plasma drones sent from this inorganic clouds, sent from the inorganic clouds. And a lot of the UFO activity that we've seen, including myself, I have seen plasma balls, enormous, like considered to be craft, in the skies all over the world. And have interacted with these, but in particular, often with these with these craft. And interactions with them, interactions with them. In fact, at Makara Beach in the car park last year, about this same time last year, September last year, I had an experience where I had two plasma balls above what would be Karori doing a little little dance for me and my awareness. And what had happened was I was at the beach that, that night doing CE5 work, vectoring out to deep space and coming back to where I was and having no visible connection with in, with consciousness and other parts of the multiverse. But what I did have, uh, as I was doing my practice in my CE5 vectoring out, what I was what I did have was I had an experience where I had a telepathic message that was go home, time to go home, time to go home. So I put my fire out where I was in the south coast of the northern north, lower North Island of Aotearoa. The Kingdom of New Zealand. I put my fire out and I got my gear together and I walked back to my car. And as I was walking back to my car, <laughs> the car park was empty. It was about 9.30 on a Saturday night, no one around. As I was coming back to my car, walking along this, through the, the darkness under the streetlights, I looked up towards the what would be the southeast, towards Karori. Here in Wellington, and I saw these two plasma balls doing a little dance for me in the sky, like that. And then boop, boop, they were both gone. I was just like, <laughs> and I'm wondering as I began to read this amazing book. This book is fucking incredible, incredible. Uh, that if these two plasma balls that I saw had come from this cloud, this cloud, and Robert Temple makes it quite clear that he feels is that potentially this cloud's been where it has been since the conception and the creation of this planet. In fact, if you believe it's four billion years, if you believe it's longer, this cloud has been sitting there for that long, and it's an inorganic being, and he believes that it could be some form of artificial intelligence. He makes it quite clear in the book. He believes it could be some form of artificial intelligence. That being inorganic in its form, made of plasma. But totally conscious, as everything is in the multiverse, due to the nature that plasma is conscious. 
and he, and he explains why. I'm not going to explain in this video what he was talking about because I want to go down a different rabbit hole in this situation. Now, I've only just began reading this book. I'll do, probably do another video on this book when I finish reading it or as I'm going through it. But my friend Simon planted the seed last night, which blew my fucking mind, literally. And that seed he planted was, it makes you think about the cloud very differently, doesn't it? The cloud is in like the storage space, right? Because as Robert Temple says in that book, and he might bring this up in the book himself at some point. I'm not quite, I might have just started reading it. That the internet, right? The idea of storing information in the cloud is this, it, what we have today. Because this cloud, this cloud of plasma, an organic cloud of plasma, if it has witnessed so much on this planet and in the solar system, in the solar, and has witnessed all these changes in, in cosmology, in regards to the former golden age alignment. If it has witnessed the destruction of that alignment into the, what we have today, if it has witnessed so much activity, and it has recorded that information in its cloud, in the cloud. Is that energy, is that cloud going down the Gnostic rabbit hole here, is that cloud, the, the plasma cloud between the earth, the two clouds, or so the two clouds between the earth and the moon, are those clouds, if it's artificial intelligence, is that the archons that I wrote about in the book United, the artificial intelligence that I wrote about in the book, in, in, the, in the book, I, the novel I wrote called United with Armand Sorwenio on my, on my website, Books.com, the sequel to Entwined, is that cloud, if it's artificial intelligence, is that the archontic force that has possessed entities, physical entities, through nano-sized particles of dust or plasma, into the physical bodies of beings, non-human and human, and possess them, and therefore in that possession is controlling their body, their physical physical bodies, through, through this, this uh, implant, implanting of itself into these bodies, right? Is that the archontic energy? energy? Is that the archons? Is this, are these two plasma clouds? Is that the archons the Gnostics talk about? Now consider that for a moment. My friend Simon said that. He said that what he he can totally see this. I was like a light bulb moment for him and for me when he said this to me. Also, <laughs> the archons, what they do is they are the greatest imitators. They cannot create things for themselves, but they imitate. Imitate, they cannot create. They can only imitate. So if that isn't the archons, if this plasma field of awareness, inorganic life form, that is hovering between two big, big clouds of it, hovering between the earth and the moon, if those aren't the archons, that are the archons imitating the plasma clouds hanging out between the earth and the moon that are recording all this information, and the whole idea of the cloud is an artificial creation, an artificial creation made by the archons to imitate the plasma clouds hanging out between the earth and the moon. Oh my God. How fucking crazy is that? Two big questions. I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. But boy, oh boy, has it blew my mind. Literally blowing my mind to even consider this. If what Robert Temple was saying in this book holds water, and by the by, what he's re, what he's saying, it really does. Then we have some big questions about the nature of those plasma clouds. Are they the archons? Is that the archons, the plasma clouds that the Gnostics wrote about, in the Nag Hammadi texts discovered in 1945? Is that the archons? Those two plasma clouds, inorganic life forms, artificial intelligence, possessing human and non-human entities on this planet to do its bidding. 
and therefore or and therefore actually replicating replicating <laughs> itself here in the cloud to store information or are the archons imitating the real plasma clouds which is the real energetic source which is the real energetic source of of the recording of everything's happened in the solar system it, are the archons using the cloud storage system via the internet to gather data and information and imitate the plasma the plasma clouds hanging out between the earth and the moon Whew. man what a concept I'll finish the book and I'll let you know what he thinks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Truly appreciate it. Matewa. I'll see you again soon.